Our third award tonight celebrates Ireland's emerging innovators, all on the way to becoming the business leaders of tomorrow. These nominees are waiting to credit your mobile, upgrade your software, build you a pod, or find you a flat on the net. Let's meet the first four. The youngest finalists in the competition, Eamon and Brian Fallon, set up Daft.ie while they were both students. Their website provides lists of properties for sale or let and has grown to become one of Ireland's most recognised internet brands. Our personal philosophy in business is never get too greedy, never charge too much and have a bit of fun along the way. Being shortlisted is really amazing for Daft. Uh, it, I think what it will do is uh, help us bring it to the next level to tell those people in Ireland who don't know about Daft what it is we do. In terms of winning the competition, you know, I didn't even really think we had a chance of getting here, so uh, I'm just ecstatic with this, with this chance we've been, we've been given. Next up is Joanna Gardner. She leads Ovel, a Dundalk-based pharmaceuticals company. Their lead product is Emulave, a skincare range free of common irritants like perfume and colouring. Being shortlisted is a great feeling and uh, I work very hard, so do a lot of people around me. And especially in the last four years we've, we've achieved a lot, so to get that outside recognition is a fantastic feeling. What's even more important to me is that this, I'm the third generation of a business. My grandfather set this business up in 1934, my father worked in it, so I'm actually very proud of that. I absolutely want to win the competition, I really do. Meet John Kelly of Image Showers. The Corkman has been cleaning up since he took control of the company in 2001. A move to larger premises saw productivity soar and under his guidance the workforce has more than doubled. You have to have passion for, the, for what you do. And the day that I, I don't enjoy getting up for work, that's the day I get out. It's not always down to the, the pound, shilling and pence at the end of the day for me. I'm here as the head, but overall it's the whole team of people that I work with would be, should be here with me to, to take the award or whatever that and the appreciation of the business that we've done over the last three or four years. Eleanor McAvoy is the founder of Phone Card Warehouse. Her company places ATM-style vending units in public places and uses high-speed internet technology to deliver top-up codes for prepaid mobiles. It saves the consumer time and the retailer hassle. When you think you have to push yourself to the next step and you're scared, keep pushing. Because A, it means you should be pushing, and B, the rewards are fantastic. Absolutely, I want to win the competition. Um, as soon as I get to a situation where there's competition, I need to win. Uh, everything I do, I want to win at it, and it's, it's all part of the fun of it. Anything that makes you stand out from the crowd is useful, and this makes you stand head and shoulders above the crowd. The first four nominees there showing commitment not just to the business and the customer, but to staff and family too. Next, with some choice words on resilience, fly fishing and blades of grass, let's hear from another four emerging candidates. Meet Martin McKay. He set up TextHelp after realising that speech-enabled software could deliver huge benefits to people with learning disabilities. His products allow end-users to read and write independently, often for the first time in their lives. Being shortlisted is great. I've been uh, up against the wall a few times. Uh, several times I, I thought I was going to, to lose it all. And it's, uh, it's great just to get a bit of recognition at the end. And, and, uh, it's funny, you know, because you don't, because you're in the business every day, you don't see what's been achieved. And sometimes, whenever you, you sit back and stop and think with a group of 
people who've been through it, you, you can see what's been done, and there has been quite a bit of achievement, so it's nice, yeah. Next up is Jim Miley. In less than five years, he has led myhome.ie to become one of Ireland's leading consumer brands, synonymous with residential property. The website now also offers its users a huge range of financial services and home products. I always think of a line of a song from uh, Tom Waits, who's one of my favourite musicians. Um, and it's, fishing for a good time starts with throwing in your line. And I think in business or in life, um, that's a pretty good philosophy because if you don't try something, you ain't going to succeed. And I guess, you know, a lot of us in this game have thrown in our line. Um, whether we catch the fish remains to be seen. Two years ago, Pat O'Callaghan founded Delta to bring the concept of off-site construction to Ireland. His innovative pod products shave time and costs off lengthy building projects. As a result, turnover has doubled and Delta have moved to a large manufacturing facility in McCroom. It's a lonely business. You're very focused on your, your, your set of, of ideals and to be able to be somewhat validated by, by a, a, a group of, of experts and your peers, I, I think it, it, it is satisfying and um, just the learning experience as well is, is fantastic. We're all winners already. I'm happy to be, you know, in, 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 the, in the final group. Whatever happens next, you know, is for the future. Our last finalist is Donal O'Rean. He's the founder of Ecosem, the leading supplier of environmentally friendly cement in Ireland. It's a recycled byproduct of the steel industry and creates longer lasting, better looking buildings. Well, the way I've, I've always thought about business was about making a change and a change for the better uh, in the world. There is a quote from uh, Oliver Goldsmith who wrote two centuries ago that uh, uh, a person who, made, who makes two blades of grass grow where one grew, grew before has done a great service to mankind. And I think that's uh, the, the ultimate satisfaction from an entrepreneur is contributing to making two leaves of grass grow where one grew before. Nice to see some of our female entrepreneurs featuring at last. Well, to announce the winner of the emerging category, please welcome the Executive Director of Enterprise Ireland, Pat Marr. Thanks, Anne. Uh, these eight emerging candidates represent the standard for tomorrow. It's great to know that the future is in such good hands. So the 2004 Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year is Pat O'Callaghan of Delta Homes. The judges chose Patrick O'Callaghan because he saw an idea whose time had come. He rapidly developed Delta's concept of off-site construction and tailored his solution to customers' needs. A former native of Montego Bay, he's brought 300 jobs and more than a little sunshine with him to Cork. Well, obviously, a huge surprise and to the co-founder of Delta, Eric Listen, thanks very much for uh, putting up with us and, uh, and, and being part of uh, the vision. And this is for all the employees of Delta uh, during the growth phase. It's been a huge struggle. Um, and I was delighted to hear that Ireland had the biggest uh, percentage of entrepreneurs. And obviously, hand in hand with that, obviously is the fact that risk must be rewarded and in, in instilling entrepreneurship obviously we need to instill the reward uh, ethos into the culture as well. Thanks very much Ernest and Young and thank you very much to everybody. Thanks. Thanks.